Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hill. This is our second lesson uh, for um, this week. It is uh, a continuation in our, our story, Educating Arthur. Um, the author of that story is Amanda Graham, and the illustrator is Donna Nihel. It's kind of an interesting last name. I'm not super sure how to pronounce that. But yesterday we had some discussion in one of my classes or with one of the students in this class about Arthur is this dog's name and the author is the person who wrote the story. So it was easy to get kind of confused on that, I thought. I thought it was a good question that someone asked me um, yesterday. So as we do today's part portion of our story, we are going to see what our friend Arthur gets into next. Um, also yesterday, um, somebody said he was a hot mess. Um, so he looks like a little bit of a hot mess as you look at his picture and as you enjoyed the illustration yesterday during that portion of our story. So today's question, we're going to do a little question preview before we get started reading um, our story. Uh, our question for today is, what does Arthur get for doing his jobs correctly? And the part of the question that I have highlighted is what we will use to restate part of our question to begin our answer. And I've made us a little fill-in-the-blank answer by restating part of our question and filling in the um, answers from the text. And we'll go back and look at that again in, in a little bit. But again, our question is, what does Arthur get for doing his jobs correctly? So we're going to find out by reading pages 14 through 25. That's what we're going to take a look at today. But I want to do a little picture walk before we start reading. So we're going to take a look at the pictures. Here's our boy Arthur again. Looks like he's digging. Check out the cat over here. Hilarious. I love these illustrations. They're just my favorite. But look at him over here. He's going every which way. He's got himself in a hole and he's got a hold of something. Look at the snail. Everybody's like, what is he doing? And I don't know if you can see that. That's like a little caterpillar or something that's flying through the air because he's digging in the ground. Our next picture, somebody's hugging on Arthur. Um, we'll see if, if that character's identified. Looks like he's kind of relaxing a little bit. Here's the cat over here. Kind of like he's got a little crumpled up face. Here's the snails. Everybody's checking out to see what happened. I accidentally missed a page. Check it out. Here's another page. Looks like he's tugging on something. All kinds of stuff flying around over here. You got a sandwich. You got the newspaper. A couple snails again. Um, all kinds of little crumbs and debris flying around here. Um, and here he is. Right here. He's tugging on something. But those illustrations just make me smile. Oh, look. Looks like he's talking to Grandpa. So look at his tongue. And his eyebrows and his nose. He and Grandpa are talking about something. Uh-oh. Look at the newspaper. And look how happy Arthur is sitting here. He's smiling. Look at the newspaper. There's holes everywhere. Oh, now here we are. So look, Arthur's over here. Looks like he's in his bed. Might be eating some breakfast. He read the newspaper. Grandpa's reading the newspaper too. Notice there's no holes there. So let's go back and I will read you the story. Um, we will can pick up on page 14. And then we will um, use our reading to compose our answer. So again, our question is, what does Arthur get for doing his jobs correctly? Okay. Arthur learned to put his slippers away every time Melanie said, Slippers, slippers, Arthur. So does it look like he's putting them away? Maybe he's trying to put them away. Whenever he did it properly, 
he was richly rewarded with a hug and a dog biscuit. So it looked like looks like Melanie's hugging him. Look at the cat. Arthur learned to tidy his basket every time Grandpa said, Tidy, tidy, Arthur. So maybe he's trying to clean out his bed. It has all kinds of stuff hidden in there. My dog hides all kinds of stuff in her dog bed. Oh, here he is with Grandpa. Whenever he did it properly, he was richly rewarded with two hugs and two dog biscuits. Now, said Grandpa, fetching the newspaper. Fetch, Arthur. Does it look like he fetched it well? Look at all those holes. It took quite some time for Arthur to learn to fetch the newspaper in one piece. Look at the footprints. But whenever he did it properly, he was richly rewarded with three hugs and three dog biscuits. So here he is laying over in his in his his basket after he's cleaned it up. He's reading the newspaper and is eating his dog biscuits. So that's as far as we're going to read today. We're going to go back to our question and do a quick review of the question. Um, what does Arthur get for doing his jobs correctly? The part of the question that I highlighted is what we will use to restate uh, in your answer to put together a nice answer um, by using that part of the question over. So I started um, the question, Arthur got, because you have to change the tense of get turns into got. Got is past tense. So Arthur got blank with a blank and a blank blank for doing his jobs correctly. So you can see how I reused or restated part of the question and the answer, and I left the blanks for you to fill in. If you um, go back to page 16, whenever he did it properly, he was richly rewarded with a hug and a dog biscuit. So that will fill in the uh, question using information from page 16. I do want you to practice typing this out in your document. Um, it might take you a minute or so, but we need to get in the habit of restating part of our question in composing our answer. So practice that, typing your answer out and going back to page 16 if you need to do that um, in the video. So that's where we're going to stop today. We will finish our story tomorrow and see um, how the story concludes. Thanks a bunch.